My understanding is some of them government people done heard what I said about nuclear war with Russia. And they're real concerned, because they're going, all right, I don't think we could ever have a nuclear war. And first of all, what I'll tell you is I didn't say we're going to use no nukes. What I said is I'm going to sit around and threaten to possibly use nukes if people start using nukes while launching a massive invasion that's pretty much unfair that could result in nuclear blast because in reality if you're invading my country like that um, I'm gonna have to use a nuclear weapon on my own soil um, but the problem is uh, when you start having to decide if you're gonna nuke your own people or so, so basically uh, say that I launch an invasion of a country and everyone's killing each other in the same proximity. You can't drop a nuclear weapon on people that are close to one another. I understand if people think I'm a psychopath now because everyone has heard this whole uh, story or maybe it's true, maybe it's a myth, um, but a lot of people believe that if a nuclear war broke out, it would cause nuclear winter, changing the weather, and we would never be able to function in society. We couldn't have crops on the other side of the world because a nuclear blast on happened here, and then somehow it affects the entire atmosphere or some shit like that. I don't know if that, that's actually true. I'm pretty sure that if it is true, then no one's going to use a nuclear weapon or use nuclear weapons excessively. The big issue is contamination of water, my, as, as far as I know. Because um, if you're dropping bombs on the ocean, and, and bombs can get dropped on the ocean, especially if you're, uh, it, depending on the type of nuclear weapons you're using during ocean warfare. Because, um, you know, there are different types of missiles that can be shot out of a submarine and from a ship. <clears throat> All right. So, um, what I'm trying to say, I think, is that a uh, long time ago, I realized that nuclear war was possible. And that there are these myths that people put out there about nuclear war, like it's, you can't ever have nuclear war or else we'll all blow up everything. And, and then you start realizing, well, you could have nuclear war. I can, I can actually, I can, I can invade, invade Russia. That's for sure. Because I can invade the United States, but I am pretty sure even if I was leading an invading army, I would probably lose a war with the United States government if I invaded the United States. And I am a master at invading the United States because I'm an American. I know all about it. Like, I, I'm, I'm like a real expert. All right, so um, I think that everyone at this point is wondering, uh, is it legal for a non-state actor to launch a war without the backing of his government, even though he might have the, what is it called, a tacit consent of certain people in the military that think that's actually a pretty solid idea. I mean, you could launch an invasion of three billion people. We didn't do it. It's actually a non-state actor's fault because I'm a non-state actor. I'm not part of the state. I don't work for the government. Yeah, you can say, no, he worked for the CIA. Mm, never worked for the CIA. It's kind of like I work for the NSA. Never worked for the NSA. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very, I have a very complicated relationship with the government. It's like, People are stuck with me half the time, but then they're also kind of like, wow, I can't believe you can do that. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed. All right, so Vladimir Putin. Um, this man is the type of man that will torture someone, so you should never doubt that if you're going to war with a type of man that will torture someone, then um, you should be prepared to step up to his level. And I'm not saying that we need to go torture people, but all I'm saying is that in the state of nature, this whole, um, we're all going to sit there and, and meditate and sing kumbaya and rub our nipples and tell each other about how beautiful we are and talk about how the earth feels really nice today because I can tell the energy is better and we can make sure everything's all right. But... Um, uh, by, 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 by getting in touch with our inner selves, but um, I believe in making sure everything's all right by getting in touch with my inner uh, psychopath. And the reason that I go reach out to countries like Nigeria, and I say, hey, you guys sure got population problem. I actually kind of like you guys. You got pretty solid personalities over there. Um, you got some resources. You're, 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 you're the type of people that... Um, come from a really tough land, a place where kidnappings happen a lot, the place where uh, you got to struggle to survive sometimes, and uh, you understand how rough the world is. So if there's anything that I know is that you'll understand where I'm coming from when I say uh, we got to make sure we're nice and tough with these Ruskies. All right, so I'm sure some people are wondering, uh, why are you leaving out South America? You're not going and recruiting people from South America. Well, number one, South America don't have no water problems that I know of. Uh, South, South America ain't got too big of a population. 
Uh, South America is kind of a place that I'd rather leave out of, out of it because I'd like to station a lot of submarines over there by that Panama Canal. Maybe put a lot of a uh, lot, lot, lot of extra military presence over there in Panama. I think those people might be okay with that. Uh, they appreciate that shit in Channel 2. And they don't want anybody going over there and being a fucking asshole and just nuking some shit for shits and giggles. So I'm just saying uh, um, I kind of prefer just to not sit around and go, okay, y'all want to go argue about communism versus fascism versus whatever the fuckism you believeism? I, I, that's fine for you. I'm going to sit here and go, all right, I've got an objective. Deal with Vladimir Putin. I've got a problem. Water, water, water. Asshole, asshole. You might actually like to go fight him. You might actually really want to conquer someone and you want to have an excuse for it and you want no one mad at, it, mad at you. All right, so them Euros. Uh, I understand they, they get real mad. <laughs> Everybody's going to get real mad about us going to war with Russia. It's, Euro, it's the Euros, which is crazy because they're our allies. And our allies are going to get mad at us for wanting to go to, enemy, go to war with someone who's very much treated us like an enemy. I mean, who knows that a lot of these corporations, networks, are completely fucked because of those fucking Ruskies. Why? Because they've been putting all this shitty-ass malware on there. Them, them, them Ruski coders, they can't code for shit. They're a bunch of fucking little baby coders going around fucking writing some shitty-ass malware fucking up my network. Pisses me off. And that's the thing. Uh, the, the, the Muros have this enemy which is the Ruskies, but then they also are kind of almost on the Ruski side. It's, it's very unfortunate. Us Americans are, are kind of grateful to have our own uh, little fracking venture down in Texas and kind of like uh, all that oil being produced out in West, and uh, I'm talking about West Texas. I'm also talking about the oil be being produced out there in, uh, in uh, was it North Dakota or South Dakota? Probably North Dakota, right? Maybe both, probably. Probably definitely South Dakota. Yeah, definitely. 